So, music, you guys. Music raises the vibes for me. It's just, and laughter, and fun. <laughs> so I just have to laugh and listen to a lot of music, even though there's craziness going on, right? There's craziness. So say hi if you're jumping on. My name's Chelsea Wilna. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I um, am passionate to help women shine, to help women own their worth and value and their abundance that starts from the inside, from the inside out. Because I, I'll just, I've said this before, you can have all the things extrinsically, but if you aren't convicted in who you are and where you came from and what you want in your life and choosing to feel good over suffering and misery, your life's gonna suck. Just being honest, and I'll tell you what, the suffering, you know, it leads us to growth, it leads us to fulfillment. You know, we have to go through the, the crappy stuff to feel the good stuff, I believe that. I don't, I don't really feel like you can live with joy if you haven't, if you haven't suffered. We, we're all gonna go through it, we've all, gone, we've all gone through it. It's part of the human experience. And we have a choice in everything, how we react, we respond. We have a choice in how we look at life, how we view life, how we, re, how, we, how we carry ourselves, how we show up. Not saying we have to be perfect, not saying we have to dance around and be happy all the time because that's humanly impossible. But we have a choice on our perspective. And so I just wanted to share this. This is kind of random. I wasn't, this wasn't even like part of my notes, but I woke up this morning and I was, I kept thinking about fitting in and like this need of this, you know, I've been talking about human connection and how we're wired for love and connection. We also are wired for courage. Courage is an abundant characteristic that comes from our creator that takes guts that takes leaning into fear. We're always gonna deal with fear. It's, it's part of the human experience, but we have a choice in whether we wanna be courageous or not. And so I wanna ask you, are you writing your, your own story with God, with your creator? Or are you allowing other people to write your story for you? And what I mean by that is, well, man, I'm, I'm a little like, let me just take some deep breaths here and get centered. So remember that heart focused breathing that I talked about yesterday? You just imagine air flowing into your heart and then flowing out. Whenever you feel like just a little bit ooh, nervous or triggered, you can do that and you just breathe the air in to your heart and breathe it out. So part of growing ladies is sometimes not being, feeling like you're alone. So, you know, a part of growing and wanting to live your best life and doing you know, trusting your intuition, trusting your gut to be courageous uh, and be different and walk in love and enjoy your life and raise your energy and shine your light is being different than other people. And you can feel very alone. You can feel very alone. I, I've been there and, and I'll share around that. And it, and it's, it sucks. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, I don't believe you can truly live a fulfilled life if you're not willing to risk sometimes, if you're not willing to be courageous, if you're not willing to lean into the fear and, and, and lean into, what is this person gonna think about me? What, are, what is this gonna happen? Am I good enough? Hi, Heather, how are you? We've all been, I can say, I mean, maybe we all have it, but I would say as humans, we've all been in situations where we try to be somebody that we're not, to fit in, to be good enough. Maybe it's in our friend circles, maybe it's in our church, maybe it's in our, you know, in our careers, maybe it's in our home life. You know, maybe we just, we have so many walls up and we want so much to, to live, you know, to be connected with others, to fit in, to be the cool kids, to, to be, want to be accepted, to be loved, that we don't, we forget who we are and we dim our light and we allow other people to write our story. And what I've really come to understand, has anybody ever felt that way? Because I feel that way a lot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I've really come to understand is I resonate with people who are real. I resonate with people who are authentic. I resonate with people who are vulnerable. I resonate now with people who are courageous, people who want to grow. Who, who stand convicted in who they are and they don't allow other people to tell them who they are and they risk and 
they shine their light. They operate from this heart space of like, you know what? I'm going to be okay. And God in the universe and who, you know, source is going to bring the people into my path that need me and that are going to accept me for me. And I remember ladies, like most of my life trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Um, and it, it became apparent to me. Has anybody felt this way in your life where you, you dim your light, where you act a certain way in front of these people or you, and, or you act a certain way in front of these people and you don't show up fully of yourself or you feel bad for being happy or you feel bad for feeling like crap and not being able to share those experiences with, with other feelings, feelings that you're going to be shamed, judged. I'm going to tell you right now, shining sister, op sisters operating from this place, leaning into courage, like leaning into fear with courage and deciding I'm going to trust my heart and my gut and I'm going to go where God's leading me and I'm going to get uncomfortable and I'm going to serve and I'm going to shine my light can be lonely. It can be scary. It can be um, risky because you feel like you're going to be judged. But I'll tell you what. It will change your life. It will change your life and God will flood your life with people and experiences that will just help you flourish and shine and will bring people that accept you for you. So anyways, a few years ago, I left my career of teaching for, it was like 10 or 11 years. And that was scary, ladies. And I jumped into, into network marketing. And I'll tell you what, you talk about being judged and you talk about shame and you talk about not feeling good enough. I don't know if there's network marketers in here or people that have left their careers, went against you know the cultural societal norms of what is normal in society, what's accepted. A lot of those fears I think I brought on myself. But you have people going, what are you doing? Like, why are you, you got a college degree. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> And it's scary and you have people questioning you and are you involved in a pyramid scheme and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, I'm trusting my gut, trusting my gut. You guys trusting your intuition. That'll be a talk for tomorrow. That's another talk. But stepping off the boat and doing something that you're excited about that feeds and fuels your soul to serve people, to be your best self, to feel good. I don't care if it's your health. I don't care if it's your attitude. As your energy starts to rise, as you start to say, you know what, I'm freaking worth it. There are going to be people that don't get you. There are going to be people that judge you. There are going to be people that go, oh, poo, poo, her. Is she for real? There are going to be, be, be people that don't understand and that's okay. The whole point is keep going, keep following your heart, keep leaning into fear and being courageous. You guys, courageous people inspire me. Courage comes from our creator. Courage, we're not meant to play small. We're not, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if you know like you should be, like you should be leaning into fear and doing something. I'm not saying we have to do something to be enough, but if you know that you need to be stepping off the boat in a certain area of your life, maybe it's your attitude with your relationships or about yourself, maybe it's your health, maybe it's starting a project, maybe it's getting your life in order, maybe it's saying no to people that are toxic. Whatever it is, as you, as you decide and get convicted in here of who you are and what you want in your life and how you want to feel, you're going to be judged. You're going to have somebody that doesn't get it. Somebody that's going to try to dim your light. And that's where you have to say, I'm worth it. I'm worth it. And I'm going to keep following my intuition. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep moving forward and I'm going to operate from this love energy, from the abundance that's within me so I can fly. And ladies, I'm telling you, when you do that, it feels so good. There's moments where I feel alone a lot. There's moments where I feel very alone. I feel like I'm on an island by myself, but I know that I'm not. Like I know number one, I've got a spiritual team that's got my back. And you know what? what's cool is when you decide to lean into fear, there will be people that are like, we got you. We got you, sister. You can do this. People that make you want to be better. People, people that will hold you accountable that you are, that have earned the respect to tell you the truth. So if you're fearful, I don't know why I'm even saying this. Like I said, I had a dream. I had a dream about this last night and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go share this. I know there's a lot of people holding back. There's a lot of people dimming their light. There's a lot of people that are letting other people write their story for them. You know, dictate how they feel, what they do in their life. 
And it doesn't have to be that way. You know, we're, with this coronavirus and whatnot, it's, it's, this is such a great time, ladies, to, to reflect, to, like, to just be still, be quiet, and say, what do I really want in my life? Why am I doing what I'm doing? How do I want to feel? What do I want to be remembered for? And write your freaking story, sisters, and own it. Own it. And know that, you know what, it might not be easy, but it's going to be so worth it. And no matter what happens, when you come to the end of your life, you, 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 you stepped into the calling that was for your life. You didn't play small. And if you, do, if you are playing small right now, I'm just going to keep it real. If you are you know, afraid to risk, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in your belly. You're going to feel it in your solar plexus. You're going to feel it. You will feel uneasy. Because when it's time for you to step into whatever's next for you and to raise your energy and shine your light, it's going to feel uncomfortable. I'm going to be real. It's going to feel very uncomfortable, but that's where you just keep leaning in. That's where that you ask God to bring people in your, into your path that you can, you can share your frustrations with, that you can get real with, that, uh, that inspire you, that motivate you to keep going. It's so important for fulfillment. So... I'm not gonna just keep going on and on, but anybody feel alone ever? You ever feel alone like you're on this island by yourself and that, you know, like, we're not. I mean, there's other people that feel the same way, but do you ever just feel as you're awakening and as your, your energy's raising that you're, you're different? Do you ever feel that way? It's okay. I get it, I've been there, keep going. Somebody needs you. 10 people need you, 100 people need you, thousands of people need you, you need you. Do not dim your light. And I'm gonna tell you, as you are courageous, as you lean into fear, as you lean into fear, you're gonna inspire other people to do the same thing. You're gonna, you're gonna help other people raise their energy and raise their light. I'm not saying, ladies, that we surround ourselves with toxicity, but you know, I've talked to several women lately who are, who are dealing with people and family members and, 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 and friends who judge them, who are, who are nasty. And I'm like, mm -mm, uh -uh. boundary time, boundary time. They're not writing your story. How do you want to live? How do you want to feel? What do you want to be known for? Set some boundaries. Love yourself enough to operate from this space and go for it. You're meant and created to shine. Courage. You have it within you. We're here for you. This is a shame-free, judgment-free zone. I'll tell you what, I, I, I just, <laughs> I can't stand um, judgy, you know, mean, hypocrite. Don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. I'm, I can be judgmental because it's a human thing. But I just, I can't stand, um, I, I just can't stand women or men or whoever shaming other people because they don't believe or think like somebody else. Or I can't stand that. I'm gonna tell you right now, I want real in my life. I want authentic in my life. I want people who make me better. I don't have time for the bullshit. And I don't, you know what? And, and um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop with that. I'm reading uh, Kim's message. Oh, and Kim, you guys, Kim is beautiful. She's an author and uh, has, a, has a story. It's, I wouldn't say it's a beautiful story, it's very sad. But she has chosen to shine her light in in just amazing ways. And she'll be on to share her story with you soon and her book and all that good stuff. Awesome, Kim. Heather, love you. So friends, what is it? What is it in here that's saying, what do I want? What do I want to be known for? What am I shrinking back in that I need to lean into and be courageous? The fear is going to always be there. Where am I dimming my light? And no, just no, not everybody's going to get you. And that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. There's going to be way more people that do than don't. Keep going. I love you. Shine on. You guys, shining is, is here. It's, it's from the heart. It's from the heart. It's love energy. And under love is joy and patience and peace and kindness and laughter and fun. Um... Yeah, I'll get into the labeling and all that stuff later, but trust your gut will be tomorrow, trusting your intuition. Sisters, you can have all the things, but if you aren't convicted of who you are in here and you don't lean into fear courageously, you're never going to know what could happen in your life, the lives that you could change, your, your own life, your family's life. You're meant and created to shine.
Love you guys. Have an amazing day.